Hi, I'm Linda Sessions, and I'm one of the computer application instructors here at WSU Tech. There are several instructors, and we all use the same basic class outline. So I wanted to take a few minutes to introduce you to the class in Blackboard, give you some ideas on how to be successful in the class, and what you need to look out for and watch for as you go through your semester here at WSU Tech. So let's get started. Here in Blackboard, right up here in the upper left hand corner, you'll see CED 115 Computer Applications. Following the 115 is your class CRN. So if you are emailing your instructor outside of Blackboard, please include this entire number so that they can find the class that you are in for computer applications. Now here in Blackboard at the very top, you will see the What's New area. Get into the habit of checking this area every time you log into Blackboard. This is where your instructor is going to post new information. Maybe it's something that they want you to pay particular attention to that week. Maybe it's information on a survey that we need you to complete. You will also find information here from WSU Tech. So always make sure to check here at this What's New area to make sure that something important hasn't been added. Following that, you'll see where it says Navigating Blackboard Visitors, videos, sorry. If you are new to Blackboard, these videos will take you through the basic features of Blackboard to help you get around in the course. As always, you can always um, check with your instructor to if you have questions getting around the course at all. The next area is the Start Here module. You will need to read the information in this area in order to take the syllabus quiz. So you will find information here for, on your instructor, uh, how your instructor likes to be notified, a little bit information, might be more information, than you really wanted to know. Like for example, this is my newest family member. This is Paris and she has been helping me today get these done and it's driving me crazy, but she does make me smile. So back to the class. The other things you'll see here in the start here folder is the syllabus and we're going to go to that in just a second. Tips for success. Um, how can you be successful in your computer application class? Along with some other tips from the college. One thing, uh, two areas I want to point out. The remote desktop guide. If you are using a Mac book or a Chrome book in order to complete assignments for this class, you will need to use the remote desktop guide. You will need to remote into the WSU Tech servers and in order to complete the assignments, you can't complete them all on the Chrome or a MacBook. So make sure you follow those instructions right there. Also, Office 365, Google Docs will not work for this class. I repeat, Google Docs will not work for this class. It is Office 365 and right here is a link where you can download Office 365 to your computer and that way you will be able to complete the assignments. If you need help with the remote desktop or the Office 365, please contact our IT department at 677-9906 and they will help get your computer set up in order to be successful with your classes at WSU Tech. If you have a laptop, you can bring it into any of our campus locations, ask to visit with one of our IT professionals there and they can help you get your computer set up. So back up here the simple syllabus. Your syllabus is your contract between you and your instructor. So you're going to select that link and then you're going to click to launch and I have mine launched right here. So right here is the syllabus that I've created for my class. Now your instructor is going to have their own personal class guidelines in their syllabus, so make sure you read through it. What are you going to find in the syllabus? You're going to find your course information. When does it start? When does it end? When is the last day to withdraw and still get a W on your transcript instead of an F? Your instructor information 
including how they would want to be how they would like to be contacted. The description for your course, the textbook. We use a program or a third party called BibliU for the text for this class. The good news is you've already paid for your e-text. So when you pay for your classes, you have access to the e-text so you don't have to wait around. So you also don't have that excuse. You can get right in the very first day uh, the class is open and your instructor has access to the e-text. You can get in and start working. Our course outcomes are here. Our grades are out here. You'll notice that we are a weighted based class or weight based class. Not all assignments are weighted the same. Your projects, you've got a, you're going to have graded projects and critical thinking projects. Those are all worth 60% of your grade. Your capstone projects, the final project, as well as your trainings, coding, time typing, and quizzes are all 20% of your grade. Your assignments are listed here. Late work policy. Now, make sure you check out your instructors because their late work policy might be different than mine. They might not have any extra credit in their class. It is completely up to their discretion as instructors. So make sure you read through that information so that you know how your instructor has set their class up. Attendance. It is important to note that we are an attendance taking college. This is by federal regulations. If you miss two weeks of class, that means if you have a face-to-face -face class, if you don't show up for two weeks and you don't contact your instructor, let them know what's going on to see if it can be excused or not, then you will be removed from the class. In an online class, if you don't complete any assignments for two weeks, and for this class, it's a time typing as well as another assignment. Uh, you can't just complete the time typing you have to have at least two, two of those assignments in order to be, be counted present for the class. If you don't, then again, you'll be removed from the class. The only way you could get back into the class at that point in time is to notify your instructor and then it, it is at your instructor's discretion. So make sure that you're turning your assignments in each week. Keep up with the assignments and make sure your face-to-face -face classes that you are going to class. Your instructor is going to have policies that are specific to them, so make sure you read through the instructor class policies. Then at the very bottom, you're going to find your course schedule. This is where you're going to find um, where your assignment name is, how many points the assignments are worth, and when they are due. I'm going to show you where you can find this information as well in Blackboard. If you want to, you can print out your course schedule. If your instructor needs to update it in any, in any point in time, then they'll put a note in that what's new area that I told you about to tell you, hey, you need to check because something changed in our course syllabus. So back to class, I'm going to come over here to the course content tab and you can see the next area after the start here module is beyond the classroom. This is where you're going to find information on different school activities and events and things that can help you beyond the classroom. One of the things that you'll find information on here is our Hope Food Pantry. If you find that you are needing food for yourself, for your kids, select this folder and right here is our information on our food pantry. You're going to contact Sylvia Smith or Brittany Thompson and they are very discreet. They are going to help you to fill out some forms so they can make sure they get you food that your family will eat. It's very discreet and we want you to be successful at school and if you're hungry it's going to be hard to be successful so please reach out to them. I know from my own experience that it is not easy to ask for help, but please, we are here to help you. Let us do that. If you find that you would like to donate food to the pantry 
or maybe you'd like to give some money so they could buy some food for the pantry, again, contact Sylvia Smith or Brittany Thompson and they can help you with that as well. So you'll see there's other things listed in this um, content beyond the classroom area. So um, again, another big one here is scholarship possibilities. Who doesn't like free money? There's a link right here to a page at WSU Tech where you can apply for different scholarships. So make sure you check that out as well. So back here in the course content, moving on down in Blackboard, Right here we have uh, student resources for CED 115. You have information on how to contact technical support through Cengage if you're having issues with that. How to complete some assignments. How to access the e-text right here in the, in the module. So make sure you check that out. Um, other information on SAM. Now this download student data files right here. This is only if you're wanting to complete the projects that are in the e-text, which I strongly recommend. You're going to learn so much more if you actually work through each one of those individual projects. Um, this is not pro the files that you would need to complete the assignments with the class. Those are actually with each individual assignment. So going back here to course content, after all of that, now you're in the modules. And you can see in the modules, it lets you know what date the module is on what you should read before completing assignments. And then in my class, I have the due date right here in the module. And then you have a listing of all the assignments that you need to complete by that due date. Now your instructor might have your setup a little bit different than this, um, but basics the basics should be the same. So selecting in the module, you can see the first thing is your checklist, which is again going to show you the information for this that particular module and all the assignments that are completed. You won't see the due dates here on this checklist. The only where, place you're going to see due dates for sure are in the course syllabus and then on that module cover. You're going to have a link to some YouTube help videos. Make sure that you try to do the assignments first. Use the help videos uh, just uh, for that, just to help you. You've got your syllabus quiz. Make sure you read that start here folder first. Typing information on um, typing. How to set up your account is right here. Again, you're going to do typing each week, but in order to be counted present, you need to do the typing plus an additional assignment or an additional assignment, not just the typing. The typing only takes 10 minutes a week, guys. So uh, if you only do the typing, A, you're not going to pass the class. B, you're not going to become a present in class. So make sure you do some of these other assignments. So you can see here where it says do. That's something that you need to do for that class. Um, down here, you've got your e-text right here, and then your revised access. Um, which is an assignment that you need to do as well as this first week in this particular class you're going to have coding. So information on each one of those uh, you would just click on the link and it's going to take you to that information in the class. Okay so that is just a really brief overview of the class, the syllabus, how to get around and some tips on how to be successful in the class. Again, the instructors are here. We're here to help you be successful. So if you have questions, reach out. Uh, you'll find their email address, their phone number, their preferred methods of contact. All of that is going to be in your course syllabus. Reach out if you have questions. That's what we're here for. You can always reach out to me if you don't hear back from them. Um, in a timely manner, which I don't think will happen, but you can always email me again. My name's Linda Sessions and my email address is L-S-E-S-S-I-O-N-S -S -S at wsutech.edu. Reach out and ask me questions and I can get you back with your instructor. Hope you learned some new things in computer applications this semester. Hope you learned some things in all of your classes. All of your instructors are here to help you be successful. Reach out if you have questions.
we can't read your mind. Thanks for taking classes at WSU Tech. And I hope that wherever you are today, that you've got some sunshine in your life.